Mr. Lewis and I are gonna show you how to log on to Mathletics. Okay, parents, so as you can see, 3S is playing Mathletics here today. Um, we're very lucky. We have got some fantastic maths teachers here at Nemminger, and this program is not a teacher. This is just to consolidate the learning that our fantastic teachers have done. Um, we decided to purchase the program to supplement the exemplary maths program that we run here at Nemminger. Um, and like I said, we have outstanding math teachers. Our NAPLAN results have been above state average for the last three years. This program is just designed to help those students at home who wish to extend their knowledge. So <clears throat> welcome to Mathletics. The class is going to show you how to use Mathletics today. Do it. You just need to do capitals in your name. When you go into the numbers, go to the dash. When you just put your numbers in, And then you just hit online, don't you, Harrison? Yes. Then online, and you'll be just have to wait for a little bit, and you'll get on to Mathletics. And parents, this is an app, or you can log into the Mathletics uh, through Safari or your Internet Explorer. You'll get a home screen that looks like this, and you can see Harrison Hamilton and his avatar in the top left corner there. Um, the power button will allow you to log in and log out. Then you've got activities, live mathletics, points, concept search, and updates. Um, you'll see the topics there to the left. You can click on those topics and that'll give you the topic um, that the teacher has assigned for those students to do. Chloe's just gonna show us how to use the activities and the topics. So you can see Chloe's on the topics there. Um, if she clicks on whole number for us and place value, these are the things that the teacher has actually assigned. If the task is too hard, you can click on the easier arrow there and that will make it easier for your students to complete. And if you click on harder, um, it'll make it harder for the student to complete. So Chloe, if you can click on are you ready there for us? So you can see Chloe clicks on that and the activity comes up and it'll load up and there's 12 questions in this activity. Okay, so these are the activities that load up. Um, you can see 12 questions. Uh, Chloe's gonna answer this for us, so what number does the model show? Chloe, what do you reckon? Um, a 10, a 100 block and a 300 blocks and a 10 block and a 1 block. Uh, so what's the answer there, Chloe? Um, 370, um, Three. Good. So type it in, 373. And hit submit. And you can see there that she's got a tick, and if she goes next, the next question will come up. Right now, parents, uh, Ray is going to show us how to use live mathletics, which is one of the, uh, the functions that the kids really enjoy here. So I'm going to jump in next yes. to Ray here. <coughs> Alright, Ray, click on the world map there for us. So parents, this takes us to live mathletics where, uh, where students can play against people from our class or people from across the world. So you can see their world challenge, school challenge, class challenge or computer challenge. If she wants to play anyone in the world, she clicks on the world and then hits go. If she'd like to play anyone from our school, you can see online there's 13 people. If she wants to play a school challenge, she can do that or a class challenge or a computer challenge. You'll also see up the top here, the dark blue level is the level that Ray is playing on and the yellow star is the level that the computer suggests she plays on from her past performances. So you can see Ray has done really well in level one and the computer is actually suggesting that she plays level two because level one is too easy for her. Okay, if Raya clicks on school challenge there, Raya, uh, school, not a uh, class of Luke because we were in the class, and if she then clicks on go, you'll see that it starts searching across our school for people for her to play. <clears throat> now if it finds people from her class to play, then they'll come up and she'll play a game against them. If it doesn't, it'll just find computer uh, avatars for her to play. And you can see it's come up with the computer there. So then Raya just starts answering the questions. The more questions she gets right, the more points she gets right, and then she can change her avatar. So Bonnie's gonna show us where our avatars are and where we can change those. Now, parents, just be aware, you can't actually change avatars on the iPads, you can only do it on the computer. So you can see in the top left corner there, that's Bonnie Wall, Memengar Public School, that's her avatar at the moment. If Bonnie wants to change that, she'll actually need to jump on the computer and do that. And you can see 
Bonnie's got 130 points because she's been playing oh, yes. Mathletics today. Um, those points, the more points you get, the more things you can do to your avatar. So if you get thousands of points, it'll open up more options for your avatar there. So the way to get those points is complete the topics on the left there or play live Mathletics. That's the way that you can actually get more points. Thanks, Bonnie. Once you've actually finished live Mathletics, you'll get a screen come up like this and this tells you your answers and the ones you got correct and incorrect. It also tells you your place in that game. So you can see down the bottom there, Gemma got a score of 21 and her highest score is 32. So in the next game, Gemma can now try and improve on her score of 21 and try and beat her highest score of 32. Good luck, Gemma. Okay, parents. The other beauty of this program is that every teacher has a login as well and you can see we can see our classes, we can set courses, we can see results and we can get reports. So you can see I've logged in here as me. I'm just going to go into my reports section. From the reports section here I can go to a weekly summary which will give me a weekly summary of all the students participation. I can go down to a report generator or I can go to a live mathematics report. So the purpose of this I'll go to my live mathematics report. I'll go up to 3S because they're our little demonstration class at the moment. And if I click on 3S there, you'll see it comes up with all the students' names, comes up with the correct answers in this column. It also comes up with their accuracy here. So that can tell me if they're 100% accurate or how accurate they actually are at answering those questions. I can also see how many questions per minute they're answering and their highest score.